Welcome all to this analysis. After the IBC pushed the deadline for presidential aspirants to name their running mates from 28th April to 16th May, there is a storm that has erupted in the Kenya Kwanzaa team. Camps are emerging. The rivalry between different political leaders are emerging and things are getting thick and thin. By the way, uh, today there is an article I read that 49 aspirants had applied to be presidential candidates as independent candidates by the uh, Registrar of Political Parties, but I think they have not yet cleared, so we are yet to see whether that number will be allowed, but I think that number is ridiculous. They should find a way of sieving other people out. Now, um, there is a story that is published uh, today in the leading newspapers in this country, and I got a copy of the star, that um, William Ruto met with the three leaders last week on Tuesday, that is Regadi Geshagwa, Justin Muturi, and Kiture Kindiki in his current residence before he flew to attend the economic block conferences in, 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 uh, in Western. So if you remember, uh, the very last week, uh, the, the week that he was in Western is the week that Mwai passed on. So he cancelled all that, then travelled back to Nairobi. So, what is emerging is that Moses Kuria, uh, I think over the weekend, yes, over the weekend, made a post in his Facebook page saying that it is decided. Then he shared the post, the photo of Justin Muturi. And so, according to him, William Muturi's running mate was to be Justin Muturi. Now, this is not sitting well with other uh, leaders within Kenya Kwanzaa. Now, I need to put a disclaimer. If there is a leader in this country that you need to despise, honestly, is Moses Kuria. Since he lied to the country that they were going to, they were negotiating the 21 political parties to sign in Kenya Kwanzaa, only for eight parties out of the 21 to sign, I think he's a man on his own mission. And one thing that is, is that he is not, he's parallel with the leaders around William Ruto. Now, three camps has emerged around uh, William uh, Samoy Ruto in relation to the running mate race. One are the pioneer UDM members. Now, there is a feeling by Regadi Geshagwa and Alice Swahumi that the running mate slot needs to be given, awarded to the loyalists of William Ruto, but in the UDA. Um, remember, first, this is after they won the narrative that the position of running mate was not to be given to anyone else, but to the central Kenya. So when Moses Kure made that post, it, it did not set well with some of those numbers. Then there is the second batch, the second camp, this is the youthful camp, including um, Dendi Nyoro, Kimani Chungwa, and we also understand that uh, the Isaac Mwaura is part of that team. Now, that team is also around, there's also a feeling that they also need to be awarded. Now, I need to mention that Regedi Geshagwa is getting the support from uh, Kimani, uh, the, the Nesmas Kimani, Kimani, is it Gunjiri? Yes, the Bahati MP from Nakuru. And then Susan Kihika belongs to another group because Susan Kihika doesn't support the Gedi Geshagwa. Then there is the last batch, the third camp of the Mount Kenya East team. The Mount Kenya East team includes Muturi, Kiture Kindiki, uh, and Kiture Kindiki. And we also understand that Anwe Guri is also supporting that team. Now, this group are arguing that um, when, Mike, when John Kenyatta was president, he picked from Mount Kenya West. He picked from this Mount Kenya West. 
I think um, he picked. He did not pick a vice president from the other end. When Uhuru was president, he did not pick, or rather, did not give a powerful, a powerful position to the uh, to the, that other side of the community. So, and of course, they have been supporting both President Jomo Kenyatta and Uhuru unconditionally. So they believe that for them also to be rewarded, then it is William Ruto. Now, I want to I want to pose a question there. So if there is supposed to be uh, an agreement between Mount Kenya East and Mount Kenya West for them to be rewarded, should they be rewarded by William Ruto, who is from Wasingishu, or they should be rewarded by the Mount Kenya West team? <laughs> it's a very pertinent question. I was reading that article and I, I found out that argument a bit, um, it did not meet, for me, it did not meet the threshold. Now, that withstanding, something, two things have happened. That there is a camp around William Ruto that have rejected Muturi. And their reason was one, that Muturi oversaw the moment they were, they were actually removed from different leadership positions in the National Assembly. So Muturi oversaw their uh, massacre because by that time Muturi was working with the president. I also need to mention that Muturi is also being rejected because he's seen as Johnny Kamdet. He's a late comer. Muturi, Kitore Kindiki, and even Anwai Guru. In fact, Anwai Guru is not in this list because she went there because she wanted the UDA ticket to seek re-election as Kirinyaga governor. Now, this team, you saw, remember during when, when Muturi was a speaker in the National Assembly and Lusaka on the Senate, um, uh, Benjamin uh, Adam Duale lost his position as majority leader and was replaced by Kipipiri MP Amos Kimunya. Washeli was re replaced by, uh, as the, ma the majority whip uh, uh, and was replaced by Emmanuel Nang Anangwe from um, Emmanuel Wang, I think, from Navakolo. Then Cecil Barere, who is now currently vying for governor position in Embu, was also replaced by Egebe North MP Malka Maori. So many of them, there were many casualties. Also, Moses Skura was the vice chair of transport infrastructure, public, work, public works. Um, Kimani Chungwa lost the finance docket and it was handed over to Kanini Kega and all that. So when all that was happening, they were saying, they, they are trying to argue that the person that was seeing that was um, Muturi because by that time Muturi was, work, was working close to, close with um, a president. Also in Senate, Kipchoba Murkomen lost the majority uh, seat, a leader seat to Samuel Pogisho. Irungu Kangata was replaced by Wamatangi, even, even though later on both of them left the, the, the president and went to join and joined the UDA. So these are some of the things that are happening. Now, one that has struck, uh, have caught my attention is a pronouncement by um, Kabatesi. Kabatesi is Musale Mudavadi's spokesperson that Musale Mudavadi is willing for the running mate to go to central Kenya on one condition, that that position is not given to the Gadi Geshagwa. <laughs> now, that that for me was, uh, caught my attention. Like, why do you think that is that? Then, if you look at Kin, Moses Kuria and uh, Musalia Mudavadi seems to be coalescing around a specific candidate. And they are working on a mission to make sure that the Gadi Geshagwa is not handed that ticket. By the way, why is the Gadi Geshagwa in this list? And at some point, he announced that he was going to seek re-election in Madeira. But of course, that is not a question we'll answer at this level. Now, I want in this video to explain for you in details why Moses Kuria and Mudavadi, what is happening? Why they are rejecting the Gadi Geshagwa. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, kindly subscribe to our channel and also click the notification bell. More importantly, like our video. And I like repeating, if you like this video, uh, YouTube is going to increase the rating and by that time you're promoting this channel. Are you within Nairobi? Are you staying within Nairobi and its environs? That is Kiambu, um, Machakos, Kitengela, or you are staying anywhere in this country and you're putting up a structure in that, that place you are, you experience, you experience frequent blackouts 
actually blackouts. It's very devastating, I have to mention. Now, I have a solution for you here. Installate company are offering power backup solutions to residential houses, to institutions, to schools, and any other structure where you need this. What you need to do is you need to reach out to them. Their contacts here is 0722818. 883 and also more importantly i have realized they have different packages so don't fear different packages depending on what you want and i can surely tell you that Yidiomi is such a beautiful and a humble soul he'll give you time he'll talk to you and you'll have really to reach an agreement on what really you can do now this is the interesting thing about the solar power because when you have solar this installate the installed company can integrate your uh, your water heating system with the solar power and this will help minimize your electricity bill to nearly zero what an amazing solution you need to look out for here back to the business of the day now i have a feeling number one that the rejection of the gadiga shagwa by musalia mudavadi and Moses Kuria is a mastermind of William Samoy Ruto. What Musale is saying is simply representing the mind of William Ruto. So why do you think William Ruto doesn't want to get a Geshagwa? William Ruto do not want a candidate that is going to be a running mate but can upstage him. I, I, I think I was reading an article by, uh, in, that, uh, in that article there was a Martin and that is a political analyst, he was saying that Ruto do not want someone who is going to be a running mate and at the same time will have a clout in central Kenya. I have always repeated in this channel that the kind of running mate that William Ruto wants, he doesn't need someone who is going to be a running mate at the same time wants to be a kingpin in central Kenya. He doesn't need that. What he needs is that he takes a law, a domicile candidate, then he remains the kingpin. That is why William Ruto technically is the person using Moses Kuria and Musalia Mudavadi to send a direct message to Rigeti Geshagwa that he doesn't need him in that position. That is the truth. But then you can also not underestimate this. Huh? Geshagwa and Moses Kuria rivalry is playing out. Now, this too, if you follow this channel, I am on record mentioning that the one, the one person that made uh, Moses Kure to leave UDA, do you know that Moses Kure was in UDA before Gashagwa? And in fact, Moses Kure was closest to William Ruto than even Regadi Gashagwa. So, Regadi Gashagwa insisted that if they were to accommodate Moses Kuria, then Moses Kuria had to fold that Chama Chakazi party. And Kuria refused. So it is at that moment that there was that fallout. And you remember when Moses Kuria was coming, making a comeback to UDA, it took the intervention, personal intervention of William Ruto to talk to Moses Kuria because Rigadi Geshagwa, Kimani Chungwa, and Dindi Nyoro did not welcome him. And of course, that is something that was playing out. So one thing, the reason why there is that rivalry is this. Huh? Moses Kuri also knows huh, that if Regeti Geshagwa is picked as running mate, he's most likely to be posturing as the central Kenya kingpin. Because in case they form the next government, he'll be the most senior member of central Kenya community in government. The second in command. By the virtue of holding that office, he will actually outsmart or rather upstage Moses Kuria. But then, Gashagwa, and, and this one is my personal observation, Gashagwa, Gashagwa has a sense of entitlement. Remember when he was, um, when he was telling the uh, Salam Davidi that the enemy position is a reserve of central Kenya, there is a way he delivers that information that even you, you might, you cannot feel comfortable with him. That Anasema, before hata, hata kabla wakuje tulikuwa tusha waambia. You know, that language in itself uh, shows that does not respect the demeanor of uh, Moses Swetangula and, and, and Musalem Davadi. That is interesting. And you know what, the reason why he got that clout is, remember there was a rally in, in Meru. After this, after, after, after uh, uh, Davadi and Wetangula joined, then William Ruto uh, 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 scaled them up. Now, give them more stakes. 
uh, Regent Gashagwa and Alice Wahome. They actually appointed as coordinators of Central Kenya campaign team. I don't know whether those positions are still, are still active. But that sense of entitlement uh, makes people a little bit find find him it's his bit of an agitatory personality it's more of a personality even when he speaks uh, he speaks as easy as if he's the president eh? he's the presidential candidate and that is why um Salim David is not sitting comfortable with him but lastly um there is also politics after august 9th and regarding Shagwa is being rejected by both william ruto musalim davadi moses kuria and everyone because he harbors presidential ambitions he's harboring those ambitions and he has the capacity he's a money bag he's one of the most he's one of the richest uh, leaders in kenya kwanza apart from william ruto he's above musalem davadi so davadi knows that if if this position is given to him honestly in come 2022 he might want to be the presidential candidate so he has to play low that is why I want to believe that there is that jittery around regarding Geshagwa's um, uh, candidature to be William Ruto's running man. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my analysis. But you can also tell us what are your thoughts, why this jittery is emerging around regarding Geshagwa.